Sociopolitical commentator Dwyer Astafan indicated in a recent commentary that some people close to Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew profess their loyalty to his leadership, but he described some of those people as, quote, liars and underminers, end quote. According to Mr. Astafan, he will do what is within his power to stop such people as they are doing more harm than good. And regardless of their rank or position, he said, they must be, quote, smoked out, end quote. There are some who profess their loyalty to his leadership, but they are liars and underminers. I know what some of them are doing, and I know who is their man of business, and it isn't Dr. Drew. All of these groups, which I've mentioned, are already doing damage, and they must be stopped. Now, some of you are going to be displeased with me for saying these things, but if you are one of the liars and underminers, you know that I and other people are now on to you. And if you are not one of those liars and underminers, just an innocent bystander who is skeptical of what I'm saying, in time you will see. But I'm not waiting. I'm backing Dr. Drew and the Labour Party under his leadership and I will do what I have to do to smoke out the liars and the underminers and the square pegs and the opportunists and the other deadweights. We need a lean and clean machine. And the final group of persons who need to step up their game are Dr. Drew's elected colleagues. They must remember that they were elected to parliament, not to cabinet. So they are first and foremost representatives of the people and they must act accordingly, busy as they may be with their ministerial duties. They must never lose touch with the people on the ground. Remember, nobody forced them into candidacy. Whether as representatives or ministers, they must keep in touch with the ground and keep at the forefront of their thoughts and actions the empowerment of the people of this country, especially the small man and woman. But let me put this in perspective. These negative forces to which I've referred are not unique to the Drew administration. They exist in all parties and organizations and always did. Even in this organization and this government and this country, which has such a popular leader in Dr. Drew. And though these people may be small in number, I mean the liars and the underminers particularly, they need to be smoked out. Regardless of how high up the ladder they may be positioned. Similarly, of course, for the square pegs, the opportunists, and the deadweights. According to Asifan, keeping such persons employed in the system could be detrimental to Dr. Drew's leadership as he gave examples of what could happen. Can you imagine one of them bad mouthing the young cabinet to an investor? Can you imagine one of them telling an investor who wants to build a small number of residences here for super billionaires who can do so much to help our country and our people? Can you imagine one of them telling an investor that that's not a good idea, that the country doesn't want that? Can you imagine one of them telling a big investor whose money is clean and who can create serious economic opportunity and jobs in the country that the investor's paperwork must fit into the queue, not high priority, wait its turn for months, maybe, before it can be addressed? These are some of the things that the liars and underminers are saying and doing. That is why they must be stopped. And that is why we are going to smoke them out. They are not going to be allowed to torpedo the efforts of Dr. Drew and the people of this country to get where we all need to be. As Stefan said, he remains a strong supporter of the philosophy of the labor movement, but his loyalties are to principles and causes, not to individuals. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.